All right. Peace. Job power. Uh, I was thinking about this just a second ago. And I want to play this clip right quick. This the uh president of Kenya. You see, and I want y'all to hear what he got to say. Shout out to Dr. Moonby. She posted this video early, and it made me think of this video I want to do right now. So listen to what he got to say. I'll be right back. Indeed, I've noticed in the conversations in Western countries and their counterparts in Asia and the Middle East, a return to competition over Africa. In some cases, weaponizing divisions, pursuing proxy actions, and behaving like Africa is for the taking. Well, I want to tell you it is not. If you understand the opportunity, I believe you will seek to grow strong partnerships driven by collaborative and generous principles. Very much like the values that guided the United States engagement with Europe after World War II. To grasp this opportunity, you will need to listen and engage with what we in Africa want and what we in Africa need. Let me try to match your opportunity to ours in just two, three, few standout areas, namely prosperity and security. The first is that there is a lot of capital in the United States and Europe that is seeking greater yield in developing markets with aging populations. Who will find the growth? Who will uh, fund the growth that these citizens will need when retirement comes after a lifetime of hard work and who are keen to enjoy their retirement years? On the flip side of the coin, you have Africa that has the world's youngest and fastest growing population. Now, I want, I want to stop right there for a second. I might play a little bit more. But I want to talk about, you know, first, you know, y'all done already came in and ravaged Africa, man. You see what I'm saying? And y'all stole our birthright. We were supposed to have been born in Africa, period. Instead, we over here in a land we know nothing about. That's why black people on the bottom, you know nothing about this land. You see what I'm saying? And we over here, you know, in La La Land or whatnot with all these lights or whatnot. <laughs> and it confused black people. So black people got an identity crisis or whatnot and all that. Because we over here in a foreign land, you see, we speak a foreign language. Hell, I mean, we done had to recreate the English English language, Ebonics and shit, so we can actually speak the language. That's facts. That's how you know we we a foreign people, and they stole our birthright, man. Listen, little Chinese that's over there in Africa. Uh, I mean, I just I just said. Y'all got the Konono virus going to deport them people, man. Period. And, 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 and the beast, man. You just, all that goofy, them conferences and or whatnot y'all trying to throw over there in Africa. Ain't nobody gone. You just heard the king, man. You just heard the king. Magafuli, I think. That's, uh, his name. Magafuli. You see what? Ain't nobody going for that goofy no more, man. Ain't nobody going for that. Period. You ain't just about to trick niggas again. <laughs> you done done it one time. You ain't go come over there, talk a dog pretty, and had the niggas a book or whatnot. They did that shit the first time with the Bible and the Quran. And now we over here in the Western world stuck with, around y'all. It's shit. It's all cold over here. Black people can't survive in this area. And that's 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 why that's that's why I say what I say. Because they don't want us over here anyway. Period. Period. What's the first thing the beast say? 
Go back to Africa. Now that's the smartest damn thing you ever said, motherfucker. Period. That's the smartest motherfucking thing you ever said. You right. Got a good point there. I agree with them when they say that. You see what I'm saying? That make a whole lot of black people mad. But when you look at it, because he know Babylon falling. No, what not, nigga? He know Babylon falling. And what you think he gonna, he gonna take many with him as he can because his population is decreasing. They going to mix in with the uh, little Mexican Indians or whatnot. The real Indians. They going to mix in with them. And then, boom. Your new ruler. So y'all niggas over here about to be ruled over by the Mexicans, man. And you got a certain sector in the society that try to convince you that you are original American or whatnot. You see what I'm saying? But you know, you know, them Arabs and them uh, white Christians and all this shit, y'all motherfuckers stole our birthright. We not supposed to be over here, man. We don't want to be over here. Just pay us what you owe us so we can go to the crib, nigga. We walking around with names Chris, Jake, you know what I'm saying, John, Matthew, and shit from the Bible or whatnot. Our names wasn't none of that. Our names wasn't none of that. Thus took transatlantic slave trade. Done then drug us 1,400 miles across the sea. Niggas know we ain't want to come. We just jump off the damn boat. Ho, see the sharks in the wildlife. Fuck it, I'd rather go with the sharks than go with the damn bees and shit. For real. So y'all motherfuckers stole our birthright. Then tried to act like y'all was us. Come over here showing these goddamn... Stupid ass movies with Liz Taylor and them in it and shit. Like y'all is us. Nigga, y'all not us. Talk about what that, uh, 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 whatever that shit was. I just watched the shit the other day. Uh, and it came out in 2013, I think. Guys of Egypt or whatnot. Always showing the damn, uh, Africans as white people and shit. And I was in the line. I think I told y'all this one time with the Africans or whatnot. And he, in this 2013, maybe 2012, because you know they be bootlegging and shit. And I love y'all, but I don't see y'all soon, too. But anyway, so he put the guys of Egypt movie in, just playing it in the store or whatnot. And a customer walked in, and, you know, he was talking to him. But his brother across the hall, you know, right up his store was right across the hall from his joint. He was in the mall. He was actually watching the movie that was on his screen. And he was looking, he, he was eating this shit. And he came on, he started watching it. And he was looking, he started seeing them damn characters as white people and shit. He went tap, tap the other, he went, came across the little hall or what, because it wasn't that far. Came across the little hall or what, and I was like, tap, because my man was talking to a customer. He was tapping him on the shoulder and shit. Was, and he turned him out of the shoulder and he said, look, and, 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 you know, the customer standing there for a minute and, you know, they finished talking. He kind of looked, kind of glanced at him like, you know, what is this? What is this? <laughs> and these brothers was Muslim from West Africa and shit, for the Gabia and shit. You know, and they see, like, what is this? <laughs> he took that tray of CD, he took that shit out the, uh, the DVD player. And took the rest of them CDs and threw that shit in the trash, nigga. Don't think anybody walking around now here don't know who we is, beast. Because you tried to steal the birthright of the Africans at home, too, goddammit. You tried to claim, goddammit, you the original African and shit. <laughs> Damn. Get out of here with that shit, mate. Talk about the Ethiopians and the Egyptians is brown, white people. Well, man, you better go, man. You try to tell me my eyes ain't see what my eyes in the African still over there in the Nile, motherfucker. That's why I tell y'all, you got to have first-hand research out there. You got to go see it for yourself. This beast ain't going to show you what's on TV. He already done stole our birthright, period. Well, our birthright. Some of y'all are small sector. It ain't y'all birthright. Y'all, y'all for... 
y'all got to deal with these people over in the Americas. You see that y'all got to go talk to them to the beasts and to the other people. But the African people out there, they stole our birthright, family. And we just over here looking goofy and shit. But now, right now, right now, for the Africans at home and the Africans in the diaspora, this guy's the, I know y'all out there excited, nigga. This the greatest time. Marcus Garvey about to jump out his damn grave. Bob Marley about to, Peter Tyson about to jump out the damn grave. They over there like, these motherfuckers done done it. <laughs> we done took the African city community worldwide, nigga. That where we on topic of every discussion in Africa, we the topic of every discussion in Europe, America, the islands, motherfuckers. Everybody want, waiting to see what the fuck we going to do. All on the end of that, nigga, we the topic of discussion, man. People out here is hating, though. And it's, but the elders prepared us for y'all little goofies. They said, before we even came in this shit, the first thing they told us said, the answer was, is y'all ready or whatnot? Say, yeah, we ready or whatnot. This, that, and the third. Say, the first people that's got, you know, when y'all go out here with this information and whatnot, you all got to be careful because the first, you know, Time you get out here and go to teach it, your own people going to attack you, man. That's exactly what they said. That's exactly what they said. So they prepared us for y'all. So when we come out here and teach, we already knew who was going to attack our own people first. They going to go harder than the damn beast. Because the beast know what we talking is, is true. He, he don't lie about it. He's just like, hey, my ancestors were some dirty, motherfuckers. They stole y'all this shit. Damaged up your pyramids and all this shit. Ravaged up West Africa and shit. Tore up a bunch of temples over there and whatnot. But he put it on the big screen. And motherfucker, you kidnapped us, man. We stole our birthright. That's why all these people out here claiming all these different origins and all these different little clans and all these different little nations and whatnot. And they right here in America and shit. Knowing the whole shit been built off the slave trade and shit. So. Y'all stole our birth. Y'all old niggas, man. Reparations, repatriation. I'm sending you the the, the, uh, the invoice, motherfucker. Uh, beast. I'm sending you the invoice, man. All right, we barely it in, motherfucker. We wants to see that bag you got, motherfucker, because you owe for all that motherfucking bloody ass cotton. Our fingers and shit all pricked up, picking that shit, period. So, I'm coming right back again. Job power.